Hey everybody, the Reese Viral here, and welcome back to more Orwell. Welcome, your work is a contribution to safety. Oh, I'll bet. Profile options. Wait, what? Days on duty. Two. Log on in. Please wait. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Holy crap. That kept switching between Mimu. I've had that happen a couple times now, and I don't know why. I might have to change the rendering engine of uh, Mimu. God, that fucking scared me. All right, yeah, this is what we recently did. We learned about Nina. We didn't get a picture of her though. We just learned of her existence. Uh, okay. All right, day three. Whoop. I'm just hoping that it don't fuck up again. Very weird. Episode three. Fun person. The hero returns! No, no, it's all fine really, you deserve the credit. At least from me, because you'll never get a public one. Just imagine your name in big letters in that TNB article. This Nina character is the final member of Thought that we don't have concrete information on. Since she is the one who planned the protest at the, cir the Circle Mall, and now a bon bomb has been found there, she is now of special interest to us. Her stance towards law enforcement just gives us one more reason. As you found out yesterday, focus on Nina, but keep watching all the others too. Okay. Nina. 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 Ni Where the hell is Nina? Aha. Ninu. All right, we have a reader. Headlines. We have a few. Oh shit! Apparently, oh, it's probably to do with the bomb. Maybe. Investigators avert catastrophe at the Circle Mall. And then we have the National Opinions stuff. Alright, whatever. Listener. Subject, a heart. Is this Nina? Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, so what's this? From an unknown person to Harrison. I should also change my brightness while I remember. <laughs> Otherwise I can barely see what's happening. So, hey, forgot to charge my phone tonight, and yeah. So I have to do this the old-fashioned way. I really wanted to thank you for the very nice evening. I haven't enjoyed myself so much in, well, ever. Only to be to topped by that night, that is. The winky face. I was hoping you'd drop by CCC and come pick me up tonight. We can cook together, maybe watch something, and who knows, maybe continue where we left off. You in? Funny, I just realised that I've never been into your place. Even after all these years, we have known each other, so... I figure you're hiding another love affair of yours there, are you? Probably your ex, the one you've been talking about ever so often when I was around. Around? Or oh, this girl that's always yammering on about how she despised the safety bill. Nina, I think? Come to think of it, for all that torment, you owe me big time, so I really, really demand to come to your place. Love you, Marka. Oh. So she really doesn't like the safety bill? Why would someone oppose the safety bill? We have the lowest crime rate in years, or possibly ever. You and me, we have a job thanks to the bill. The only reason to not support it is if you have a dirty past. With the situation as heated as it is, this sounds like someone we should be very... We should have a very close look at. We need a full examination. First, a concrete background. Who is she? Second, what motivates her? What does she want? And finally, where was she around the time of the bombings? Dun dun dun. So, the only- oh wait, there's more. Entry number six, War on Indifference. Oh, okay, so this is by her. War on Indifference. The indifference towards their own rights is a worse enemy than the government itself when we are to- when we are to overcome privacy, destroying surveillance laws. So we are in a state of war against our own government. This decla- the declaration of war is the safety bill. The only gain of which is reinforcing the chokehold the party has on us. With this bill, they are screwing every single citizen of this country. Yet most people are ignorant to this. Most people simply don't care about their rights being wrestled from them. Why bother when I have nothing to hide is their default excuse. They feel safe in their cozy houses while the government slowly puts the muzzle to their forehead, ready to pull the trigger any second. With our move on the crowded Circle Mall in Bonton yesterday, the first shots have been fired towards the lurking indifference among the populace. But there were merely warning shots. They were merely warning shots. A friendly reminder that it's about time to take sides in this conflict. We cannot tolerate indifference. We will not accept it. If you are not 
with us on this, you are against us. Wait, so what's this? So Goldfells responded. Frankly, I was in shock when I heard of the events in the mall. How you in particular incited the crowd to directly threaten the visitors. Now I am even more astounded by your writing. You know I agree people being oblivious in this matter is the problem's root. We have discussed this many times. We must get their attention carefully though. Through interesting and remarkable events, we must make them think. Scaring them to death is the exact opposite. Intended to scare visitors at the Circle Mall protest. Scaring people to get attention to one's message. Really? This is what thought is about? It's more so this is what one member's thinking. Scaring people is convincing them. Alright, oh, yeah. Scaring people is convincing them, Abe. People will only care about things that pose immediate threats to their life or lifestyle. Your own words. Surveillance is just too abstract a topic, too far away to grasp. They don't feel the danger of it. So we made them feel. It's as simple as that. Let us follow your argumentation for a moment. What did you achieve then? You just upset innocent bystanders in a time when they are already deeply unsettled. This is the exact reason why they are so afraid and yearn for safety in the first place. You have just proven, proven them and the government right. Violence cannot be the key and thought shall not stand for that. He condemns it. Maybe that's why he disappeared. Maybe he disappeared because it was, go it, like, it was going into a really shit place. He condemns it. So he seems... Like, he actually had a good idea for thought. It just got out of control by other members. Violence? There was no violence. No one was hurt, frightened at best. Honestly, I think it wasn't even enough. We made some local press, but the big fish TNB didn't bite. No big deal at all. How are we going to reach the broad audience, the rethinking you wanted, if you're not willing to let us do something about it? Ladies, gents, can we all calm down a notch? Abe, you're totally right. We were fucking fire starters. We got a little bit carried away by the euphoria of finally getting our message out there. We didn't think straight for a moment. It's not going to happen again. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's Harrison's. Yeah, apologize for the past. Huh, afterwards, they are clever and feel sorry about their actions. It's always the same. And I know there's something on, on listener. I'm just wanting to read the rest of this. Thanks for stabbing me in the back when I need you the most, Harry. This is not the right place for a discussion of this magnitude. We will have a word about it in our next meeting. Listener. Is this Harrison responding? Yep. Hey kiddo, you are absolutely fucking lootly right. One could rightly call that evening mind-blowing. Of course I'll pick you up tonight. I like this maw you were talking of, and I think I am in need of it big time. But let's not stay at my place tonight. It's utterly unfit for a lady like yourself. No lovers hidden then, only not so hidden leftovers and laundry. Especially not Julia. I haven't heard anything of that bitch in months. I'm done with her because I'm with you now. Oh. My marker. Okay, hang on. Where is this? Oh yeah, I want to go on his profile. I don't know why I got so confused. Plans to stay away from his home on Saturday. Okay. I'm done with her because I'm with you now, my marker. Julia and Harrison were together. That one's news to me. I guess it doesn't matter. It seems to be over now. Wait, I, you knew this, dude. The fuck? Uh, da 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 da. Done with her because I'm with you now, my marker. Pinky swear and Nina, you mean anything will set me off angry outburst, Nina. Okay, so she's got temper issues. Good. Don't even get me started on her. She was my partner in crime a while ago, so that, so to speak, that's it. Enraged outbursts. Interesting. Keep looking for a reason behind this. So, a partner in crime. Okay. Partners in crime? Okay. What crime? I don't, does this guy not realise that it's just a saying? Like, some of these things are just sayings. So, babes, you're around eight straight tonight. Much love, H. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. So, we have Marka, Angela. So many people that are connected to Harrison. And I thought Cassandra was going to be, like, the... The centre of attention, so to speak. A bit crazy. Wait, we're on indifference. Is there more here that I didn't see? No, I'm just trying to think where... Well, apparently there's a star, which usually means it's got a lead. 
Well, I'm not seeing it anywhere. Can I, I can go on their profile? Oh, there we go. You tell, concerned one. Oh, that's why. Now we can go on to their listener. Session to an unknown person. Hey, Sylv, I guess. Just wanted to ask if everything is fine. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, we're having a great time. Thanks for taking care even though it's Saturday. Don't mention it. How are you feeling? Still shitty. Nina, I hate to say it, so don't hold it against me, okay? I'm fine. Are we gonna witness one of her angry outbursts firsthand? No, you're not. You're worrying me. You always look sad. Nothing to worry about. Often sad. Wait. Anything new on the love front? No. You can help. Could be relevant to find... Could be relevant to find out what about. Huh? That didn't make much sense. Only idiots on this singular portal thing you recommended, Sylv. Don't know how you... Wait, how you got to find Jong among, among so much crap. I'm gonna remove the account. Yeah, it's 99% fools, but just keep it tight. Someone will come to the rescue. No thanks, I can rescue myself. Gotta work now. Thanks again, Sylv. Call you later. Cheer up, girl. Oh no, see you, girl, and cheer up. I thought that's what, I thought that's what see you meant. Timeline? Timeline? Oh, singular. Uh, dating site. What the fuck? Don't be single, be singular. Da -da -da. Continue to your profile. Bonton. Oh, shit. Right, we know who she is. Ha. Oh, fuck her. Holy crap, she's tall. Looking for men. <laughs> 35 to 45. When was she born? Oh, never mind. She's 32. I got, I thought she was a lot younger. She's a heterosexual. We don't need to know this. Right, we know she's from Bonton, or the Farview area. Okay. Body type athletic. This is what she likes. I mean, Sam's might be like, I don't really care about this. Oh, I didn't say anything. Isn't really much to say. If you'd like to get to know me, ask away. Recent prof officers. God, it looks like the guy from the It Crowd. Yeah, <laughs> I can't remember what he's called though. Go to gym. Gym nos had to drain. Occupation. She's athletic. Is this stuff we we need to know? Not really. Also, her height. We need to know how tall she is so we can identify her. I'm so, I'm just waiting for Symes to pop up and be like, "Why the fuck are you telling me this shit? I don't want to know. I don't care, dude." Yep, we now know she is a heterosexual. Not sure this is helping. <laughs> she doesn't like suits. What is your problem with suits, huh? There we go. Is that everything there is? Oh, your opinions. What are you looking for most in a potential partner? Financial stability. Who doesn't need a little bit of reliability in their lives? Is she striving to find that stability of her, on her own accord? Any reason why she craves st stability? Hmm. How long do you wish your next relationship to last? How many people would say I'm only looking for someone short term? I suppose quite a bit. Okay, she's quite a bit interested in politics. In the end, it all comes down to what degree of interest and which agenda. True that. If you turn a left-handed glove inside out, it fits. Yeah, what? The left hand, the right hand, what is this question? It would fit the right hand though, wouldn't it? No, it still fit the same hand, I think. Pretty sure. Conversations. 34%? Oh, that's their match. You close this conversation! Ooh! Oh wow, this is actually a lot. Started by the Pretender 80. Hi there, just saw your profile, you seem quite nice, so I wondered, do you have any more pictures? If so, let me know. Looking forward to hearing from you. She didn't hear nothing. Why is Sam? Holy fuck. Wait, she's called Molly? Not Nina. 
How weird. Hi, concerned one. I just read your interesting profile. It left me dying for more information. Now here I am, asking you away like you requested. If you dislike candlelight dinners and movies, as you stated, guys will probably have a hard time dating you. That makes me wonder, what is it that you would like to do on a potential first date? Of course, I could resolve to just ask you out to the local Chinese place around the corner and just abandon all the candles part of the dinner. Still, it does seem a bit straightforward. Could really use a helping hand here. Care to lend me yours? Cheers. Hi, Sam. It's kind of refreshing to read a decent message from time to time. If we were to go to on a date, just ask me out to this local Chinese place you mentioned. I don't care much for dating rituals. By the way, my name's Molly Schwartz. You can call me Molly. So that's her actual name. Molly Schwartz? She's using a fake name. And such a peculiar one at that. Yep. Oh no, her actual name's Nina. She's using a, a false name. Okay. Very weird. Okay, so, hi Molly. Oh great, suits me well, because, no kidding here, I don't like this stuff either. I think most guys don't, though it is nice from time to time, especially with the right woman. Speaking of which, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about you. What's... What the person behind the small picture and all those separate chunks of data is like. What does Molly do for a living? What does she do when she's sat at home? Does she live all alone, or is there someone, somebody waiting for her? Does she often get to climb? Please Molly, feed a full... Feed a full craving for each bit of knowledge about you. Don't let me starve. Cheers. Oh, she has a son. Okay. Hey Sam, you're quite the dramatic guy, aren't you? Anyway, here I go. I work whatever I find, aka temp work. Hope you weren't looking for someone with a shiny job title. I live in a small flat in between tons of industrial waste. You still with me? And indeed, I don't live alone. There is a special someone in my life. It's a man, and he's very, very important to me. He's also the reason I don't get to climb as much anymore. Jealous already? Don't be, it's my son, Michael. Okay. So she's a temp worker. Okay, now we know, I guess. Has a son. A single mother. Hmm. Doesn't seem like the type to be involved with terrorist attacks. True. He closed the conversation. Oh. After she told him she has a son. Yeesh. Super Randy! Oh my god. Uh, is this just the internet in in general? Hey, Blondie, I just came across your profile and I got a stun. I got stunned immediately by your striking beauty. I just had to message you. I wonder if you would spend some time for a lonely heart like me and go out with me sometime. We could go out for and have a drink at Frank's. You know that one since you're from Bon Tom too, right? What about the weekend, Blondie? Seriously, I don't recall anyone ever calling me Blondie, and I am an '80s child. Great, me too. So when are we going out? We're not. Now I totally get why you are over 30 and still single, arrogant bitch. I don't understand why, I mean it goes both ways. But why people go psycho when they get rejected? Is it just, is it so hard to handle rejection? And just think that you're maybe not a match with that person? It's, it's just, it's retarded. People are retarded. I'm logged in as Molly Schwartz. Oh there, look at that picture. Oh look at her can provide the following services. Oh my god, she's got quite good things. Works in a lot of stuff. Registered at work easy since then. Taken a shitload of those. Extras. Works long hours and weekends. And holidays. Look at us working on the weekend. It's different, of course, when you're a single mother, that must be tough. Yeah. Price, $8 an hour. Wait, what's, what's this? Bonton Road, Farview. Her email! Ooh! Now this is where we get the listener activated. Interesting. Uh, see recent jobs and employer feedback. Just as the Prime Minister leaves, the weather is getting even shittier. Wait, so what is this? Has worked in multiple jobs during the current week. A very reliable and hard worker. Would hire again any time. They said this, they had the same comment. Fix it. She's pretty much saved us when a critical employee went home sick and we were seriously understaffed. Absolute gem of a temp worker. Fast, reliable, and an incredibly low rate. 13. Da, 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 da. Can we not find, like, negative comments? <laughs> hmm. Level of experience, work easy, star. 
Oh, via her mail, so that's actually her dre address. But I don't know where the other data chunk is, so... I'd rather not jump ahead. Blaine cancels meeting for surprise visit in Tr Triflith. Okay. Prime Minister cancels crisis meeting and instead visits Parge's capital. Plans to lead renewal of stalled negotiations between Kassat and opposition. Okay. The official party website. Oh, look at him. Robert Blaine. Catherine Delacroix. Peter Faulkner. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Don't care about any of this shit. Wait, examination results. Oh, Matanova. Oh, Nina Matanova. Dear Mrs. Oh, Miss Matanova, I write on behalf of Dr. White. On your last visit at our office, a blood sample was taken. This was sent, then sent into the Bonton Central Hospital's laboratory for examination. I'd like to inform you the results are now in. Um, date of report, April 13th, 2017. And that's her patient number. Will that also go on the listener? Or insider? Not sure. Oh, I might be able to look her up. Maybe. Entry number three. Matanova. Holy crap. Ah, here we go. I would definitely say this is actually her address. Considering it was... Ta oh wait, date recorded. April the 4th. Hold up, before I do anything. Right, so when was her... Registered 2013. That might have been when she lived in 2013. I'll go with the medical record, because I would say that's much... more recent. Perfect, an address is always helpful. So, 1985. Whoa, what? Listener! Is that a call? Ooh, what the hell is this? The patient complains about pain throughout the left thigh and the upper leg. She describes the pain as searing, burning, sometimes bursting. The leg feels numb at times. Symptoms occur whenever the leg is stressed. Releasing only when sitting or lying down. Symptoms started nine days ago. Addendum. I have asked the patient regarding the healed wound on her left upper leg as no medical record existed in this database. She was evasive and gave no clear s statement about the wound's origin. Huh. The pain is most probably due to a prior inflicted wound on dorsal left upper leg, compressing not damaging the nervous cutaneous, no idea, femoris lateralis. Symptoms are similar to those of Meriliga parasthetica. Has an injury on the left leg. Ouch, the info might come in handy though. A medical leave with strict, re strict rest until the end of April 2017 has been suggested. Oh! She's on medical leave, but she's ignoring that, clearly. To favour the leg, to avoid further complications. She's supposed to be on medical leave, but isn't. Hmm, either that gave her plenty of time to trigger the bombs, or she was at home actually being sick. She was not at home, she's had jobs. Like, she had a job for a as soon as two days ago. Her most recent job was April the 13th, so yeah, two days ago. She is not heeding that warning, like, at all. I should have probably used that as the, the thing, but never mind. Is there something else here? Hold oh, on a second, I use this. Oh, previous entry. Hold up. When was this? June 2015. Patient reports of digestive nausea and vomiting accompanied by light fever. Okay. Oh my. That's on her legs again. 2014. Patient reports a permanent unrest, inability to sleep properly, gets up to five... Gets up five to twelve times a night, but does not feel overly tired. Hypervigilance. Experiences heavy trauma in both hands when trying to write, also sometimes in the legs when walking, especially in the left leg. When asked for the duration of the symptoms to record the... Anamnesis? The patient stated they began over three years ago, but would not elaborate. Asking why she did not visit earlier, the patient uh, vehemently voiced discontent. A similar behaviour was observed in reaction to any question regarding the origin of, sim of the symptoms or social and occupational circumstances at that time. In addition to the usage of strong language, the patient also hit a cabinet door with her fist. It was hard to get clear, reliable statements. The, the patient tends to react aggressively when feeling challenged or confronted. Rushes to extremes. Symptoms are similar to those of a PTSD. 
but can only be confirmed confirmed by a dedicated psychoanalyst or analysis. What situation this might have caused is unknown. Prime medical records for clarification could not be found. React aggressively when challenged or confronted. Right, okay. He's a uh, learning. That sounds menacing and important finding. I wonder what might have caused it. We don't know. Hypervigilance is close to the feelings of paranoia, though it is not the same. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Over three years ago. I don't know why the hell that's popped up now. Wait, three years? What happened back then? Must have been really bad. I wonder. I'm doubting, but I can't go any further back. Fuck. Three years ago would have been 2011. I'm not entirely sure. Headlines. Not entirely sure. I thought my target was... Oh, never mind. I was about to say, I thought my target was Nita. It is. I'm on Nina's Profile and everything. Oh, to initiate. So this is someone else that knows. Oh, hang on. That's the hacker. You've got to ask who's there. Not in the mood for knock-knock jokes. Oh, you blew it. Cut the crap. Who are you? So now you can ask. Initiate is the name. Do I know you? <laughs> no, but I know you. I'm someone who knows you better than you know yourself, sweetie. It's Initiate again. I wonder what his or her role in this is. Well, let's find out. Initiate has been in contact with two of our target persons so far. This should be enough. Oh, here we go. Feel free to investigate this hacker as well, but keep the focus on Miss Matanova for now. Okay, so I'm someone who knows you better than you know yourself, sweetie. Oh, not... Again, you're from Singular, right? Don't care how you got my number, just leave me alone. No, no. That's not where I'm from. From. Yosa has blocked this communication. I get the feeling he's just going to have messaged her again. Yep. Oh, dear. Watch him be like, no, that was very nice. Wasn't very nice. Oh, no, no, no. Can't block an issue out like that, sweetie. Buzz the duck off. Fuck. You should listen to me just for the moment, alright? And then I'm all gone. Poof. I don't care what you have to say. See? I know about your little band of troublemakers and I really dig it. The Gov needs a kick where the sun don't shine. That's alright with me, sweetie. But bombing people? That's plain wrong. Bullshit. How come you think that was one of us? Let's just say I've been watching you all for some time. The Bonton bombs hit places where your outlaw posse has been to in the past. No, you did not hear about that. Even the cops seem to have found out at least something. They knew where to look for the last bomb. So give me a reason. Or give me a reason to, you know, like put that consciousness of mine at ease. I would want to help you, not turn you in. How dare you threaten me, you got nothing. Yolanda, be cool. I said I want to help after all, not threaten you. I'll show you I can be trusted. I'm going to hack that precious page of, of the party and upload a special something. It's going to be easy with those party, party IT guys being lazy bones. As long as they don't see it coming in the next few secs, but then you'll answer my questions, alright? He dares? Wow. The IT guys are going to make short work of this rookie. Don't you don't care about your shit? Wait, wait, wait! Give me a sec while I go get to work. Don't go away. I'm curious if he'll actually do it. If if I could get away from you, I would. Can't switch my phone off now. There's a nice looking firewall you have there, dear party web team. It would be a shame if someone would just bypass it. Can you actually shut up? Doing this still gives me the chills and I need to distract myself somehow. So, sheesh. Almost done. Just a second longer. It'll be funny if he can't get through. What the heck? Oh shit, man. 
What if he knows? They reinforced their huge gaping loophole. It just vanished. It's almost like somebody warned them. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye, initiative. It's initiate and wait. I'm gonna spam you for the rest of your days if you don't answer my questions. Oh, will you fucking leave me alone then? And quit parking around in my life. You said you were not involved in the assault. I'm not. Then who is? Okay, okay, okay. Do you think it's someone else in thought? This band of misfits? Never. Harrison is the only guy I could remotely imagine doing anything like that. Harrison had an interest in Cassandra because she had, she could access the big money through her parents' company. First is Hacker is suspecting him and now her? What do they know that we don't? Otherwise she is mostly a spoiled brat, who, spoiled brat who thinks the world owes her. Juliet was a bit shy, but damn good at organizing stuff, but not capable of going terrorist if you ask me. This might explain the troubles, the trouble in the Watergate books. Okay. Oh shit, wrong profile. Need to go to Juliet. It's the cup themselves behind the bombings. Wait, so what's this? Oh, PCID. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, Nina! That looks like the code labeled to my PC. That's because it is. What? Don't worry, I've only accessed the number remotely. Nothing more. You just have some privacy. Oh, very good. You found a device UID. Device... Every device in the nation has one in accordance with the safety bill. We can use the insider tool to connect and see what user has on their device. No, a device must be running and have an online connection in order for you to access it. Okay. So it's the guns themselves behind the bombings. Why the hell would... I mean... To stir up panic? What a joke. Of course the government will bomb Bonton to bits ju to justify surveillance, right? Heard that a million times by now, every time something happens, there is nothing to these conspiracy theories. Oh, a call. To an unknown person. I need a drink, my fucking throat hurts, man. <clears throat> hey, little jewel bug. June? It's so great to hear from you. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> when aren't you? Oh my god. So we need to go back to jewels. So, jewel bug. Okay. Jewel bug, what weird kind of name is that? Wait, yeah, too, that's why I called. It was about time June and jewel bug had their annual sisterly chat. Oh, is it her sister? How did you know I was working today? Working on a Saturday! Oh, sorry, I forgot for a second you actually know me. Feeling stressed, boss calling trouble, I can call back later. Oh, no, no. Hanging around in the office is just a good excuse, you know, not to be at home. I see, I never got why you moved back in the first place. I had to leave my student apartment, you know that. But yeah, that's... And you know that's a super lame excuse. You earn good money at Rosen Tech, don't you? You could rent any flat in town. You just don't want to. Ah, I see you're not gonna relent. Nope, sorry, I had a pretty rough start into this into this year. Couldn't really send being alone at the time. I feel much better now, but mom, dad, they're so happy I'm back, I you don't want to disappoint them, do you? Yeah, I can't do that to them, not again. Considering she ended our relationship at that time, yeah. Here I was thinking Julia had finally reached a state of emancipation. Hey, I have. No you haven't. You're letting yourself be hassled by mom and dad yet again, little jewel bug. Jewel bug. It's strangely nostalgic you still say that. I guess that just happens even in really close family sometimes. Remember how I made that up for you? Yeah, I was so envious when Dad called you his June bug, and he didn't have any nickname for me. And rightly so. Don't give in to Dad. At least give him a good fight, okay? I will, believe me. Goody. So I figured I should leave you to work then. Yeah, office empty, but yeah, my to-do list is long. Okay, let's talk another time. I will call you again. Do not try to reach me. Just kidding. June? Yeah? Thank you for believing in me. Oh, look at you sounding so serious. That's what a big sister is there for, right? Guess so. See you, June. See you around, Jewelbug. 
Ah. So that's everything. <laughs>